everyone. Welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like DIY projects on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, and just DIYs in general, then be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do a lot of that here on this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell and set those notifications so that you will be notified when I upload new videos. And for those of you who have been making that reversible scarecrow snowman uh, decor piece that I did the video for and sending me pictures of it on Instagram or Facebook, thank you so much. It has been so fun to see those and I love that you are sharing them with me. So uh, if you are making some of my projects, uh, I would love to see those pictures. So be sure to share them with me on Instagram or Facebook and tag me in those as well. So now let's get to today's project. I have a couple of fall treat baskets. These can be used for Halloween treats or you could just use them for fall decor uh, to have around your house. So let's jump right into these projects. The first project is this really cute scarecrow basket. First you will need some sort of basket or container and I picked this one up at a thrift store for a dollar. It is about 10 inches in diameter. You also need some burlap and you can get this at Walmart for $3 a yard and you'll only need about a quarter of a yard. I'll also be using some black felt. This is just three uh, pieces that I got from Walmart. You can also get it from Dollar Tree. And any type of fabric, this is just a fat quarter that I picked up from Walmart for 98 cents. You can use any pattern or color that you like. I'll be using some of this polyester fiber fill. This is just something that I had on hand and you can really use anything to stuff the head and the arms of the scarecrow. Um, I always say just use what you've got. And then I am using a little bit of jute twine and you can pick this up at Dollar Tree or Walmart or any craft store. I'll also be using just a little bit of raffia and this is some I got at Dollar Tree. I'll be using a black and an orange sharpie marker to draw the face for the scarecrow. And I'll be using my hot glue gun with some Gorilla Glue Sticks just because that's what I have and that's what I like to use. So I'll be using some various items to trace my shapes, but I have included a link in the description box below to all of the pattern pieces that you will need to make this. So if you uh, don't wanna figure it out, you're on your own, you can get those uh, patterns and use those. So I am cutting a double layer of burlap in this circle uh, for the head and it is about I think six inches maybe a little bit larger uh, but like I said the pattern is in the description box below next I'm going to hot glue the two circles together around the edge and I will leave about a two to three inch opening so that I'll be able to stuff it with the fiber fill But before I stuff it, I want to draw the face on this. So I'm using the orange Sharpie to draw a triangle for the nose. And then I will be using the black Sharpie to draw the eyes and the mouth and the eyebrows. Then once the face is drawn, I can stuff the head with the fiber fill and close up the opening using my hot glue gun. To 
to make the arms, I am using a double layer of burlap and these are about uh, nine inches long and about three inches wide. Um, just make sure it's big enough to fit the pattern for the arm on. And then I'll trace my pattern onto the burlap and cut them out. Since burlap is a really loose weave, when you're using the hot glue gun, it's a really good idea to use some sort of fingertip protectors. These I got at Dollar Tree. There's three in a package. That's a great deal and they will save your fingers from getting burnt. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue all the way around the outside edge of the arms and just glue these two pieces together and I'm just going to leave the straight end open and that's where I'll be able to uh, put the stuffing in. And for this it is really useful to use something like a pencil or uh, the end of a paintbrush to help push that stuffing down into the thumb and the end of the hand. And once I have it stuffed as much as I want, then I am going to just hot glue the end of it together. And I am trimming off some of the bigger strings that are hanging off, but it's okay to have some of them uh, be a little bit rough and ragged because it is a scarecrow and he's kind of supposed to look that way. Next I'm using a chalk marker to trace my uh, brim of the hat pattern onto the felt and then I'll cut that out. And I just cut on the inside of the line so that I don't get any of the white from the chalk marker showing on my hat. Then I'm going to use the cardboard circle pattern to cut that circle out of cardboard for the top of the hat and I'll also cut the other black felt circle out for the top of the hat. Now I'm going to roll a little ball of the fiber fill up and set it on top of the felt and then put the cardboard circle on top of that and then I'll just pull up the black felt up around that fiber fill and glue it to the cardboard circle to just make a little bit of a little pillow that's going to sit on top of that hat brim piece to make the scarecrow's hat. Then I'm just going to hot glue that to the center of the brim piece. And I'm going to take some twine and just wrap it around about four times just to make a hat band for his hat. And I just secured both ends with a little bit of hot glue. Next I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to figure out about how much I need for this. And so uh, I'm going to lay it out and I want the fabric to 
reach about halfway around my basket. So I just kind of eyeballed this and uh, measured it with my basket to see if I had a length that was good. Then I laid the arms on this and rolled the fabric around it just because I want to have enough fabric so that I can glue it into a tube that the arms will fit in and these are going to be his sleeves. Then once I have my piece cut, I took it and I did iron it to get all those creases out of it. And then I'm going to glue it together and I'm just folding it in half and gluing it right down one edge. And I found this was the easiest way to do it. And then I'll just turn it inside out so I'll have a tube and it will look almost like a sewn seam. Then I will take one of the arms and just slip it into one end of the tube and then I will use a little piece of jute twine to tie a bow around that and secure that. And you could glue it if you wanted to but I didn't find that it was really necessary. And then I'm just going to repeat this step for the other arm and you just want to make sure that the thumbs are both facing the same direction. And that's all there is to making his arms. So now it's time to assemble our scarecrow. I'm going to glue his head to the inside of the basket. And you can see here that I made a little oops when I was drawing his face the first time. I got his eyes a little off center, but that's not gonna show. So uh, I'm just going to use some hot glue and glue the head to the basket. And next I'm just going to take a little bit of raffia. I'm just taking several pieces and folding them over and gluing them to his head just to make a little bit of hair that'll be coming out of the sides from underneath his hat. Then I'm going to hot glue the hat to the top of his head and I folded the top of his head over a little bit and glued the hat on and then I'm going to also attach the back of the hat to the basket behind his head to secure it. And then I just kind of played with his hat and found some places where I kind of wanted to secure, secure it down just to make it lay right, just to give it a cute look. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going to attach his arms and I want to make sure that the seam is facing the basket so it doesn't show. And I'm just going to position his hands where I want them to be and glue those down first so that they're in the position where uh, they should be. And don't worry if you have extra fabric at the uh, back of the basket because we're gonna fix that in a minute. So as you can see, I have some extra fabric and I am just going to uh, turn the basket over and I am going to just gather up that extra fabric and fold it over and then I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and secure that down so it lays nicely. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of extra hot glue over by his hands just to make sure that they are secured well. Then for the last step, I'm going to take some jute twine, wrap it around my hand three or four times. I'm going to take a little piece of twine and tie it around the center. And I'm just making a bow to put on his hat to finish him off. And now this cute little scarecrow is ready to hand out some treats. So if the scarecrow basket is a little too involved for you, then here is a really easy way to dress up your treat basket. For this one, I'm using this plastic bucket that I got at Dollar Tree. I had never seen one in this style before, so I thought this was perfect. I'm going to be adding a little bit of black ribbon to it just to dress it up a little bit. And then I'm using some lights. These are little jack-o'-lanterns. It's actually a light up necklace I got at Dollar Tree. Or you could use something like this string of LED battery operated lights. These are in the Halloween section at Dollar Tree. They are orange. I'm just following this line around the top of the bucket and I'm going to secure the ribbon every so often with a little dab of hot glue and then I'm going to also put a row of the ribbon along the bottom of the bucket as well. Thank you. 
I'm using some stickers I already had, but you can pick up stickers at Dollar Tree. And I am putting the word treats on the front of my bucket. Uh, a tip here is to start with the middle letter of the word in the center and then work out to each side and that helps you center it. Uh, I'm also putting the letters uh, a little bit crooked on purpose and this makes it so it doesn't matter if it's not completely straight. It looks like it's supposed to be that way. Then I'm going to take the light up necklace and I am going to just lay that kind of around the top edge of the bucket and then I'm going to secure it with a little bit of hot glue in a couple different places. And this necklace is fun because it has several different patterns of blinking lights or you can have the lights on solid or it looks really cute with the lights off even. So here it is filled with goodies and what kid wouldn't want to come get a treat out of this bucket? And if you don't care for the jack-o'-lanterns, you can just use some of these LED battery operated lights and I really like the way these look actually better than the necklace with the jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, I just think it uh, it has a prettier glow to the lights and especially when you turn out the lights I really love the way it looks. So I hope you enjoyed these fun treat baskets. I hope that you'll give them a try. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and set those notifications so that you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.